he is the alpha and the omega he knows your end from the beginning ah, his name is Jehovah Jireh his name is Jehovah Shalom are you still here he is the omnipresent God he is omniscient God even when you thought he was not there he was there even when you thought he has left you he's always there even when you thought he had forsaken you he is always there so it is on the fourth day and they have given up on Lazarus they are saying we will never see Lazarus again is when Jesus appears and look at the response of Mary Mary looks at Jesus and says if you could have been here he could not have died praise the name of God so Mary I've been walking with you but still you have no revelation of who I am and Jesus says unto them where have you laid him still they are walking in the disbelief they say unto Jesus he has been there for four days and he is stinking praise the name of God when I have revelation of who Jesus is it doesn't matter how stinking my situation is I say when I have a relationship with him it doesn't matter how bad my situation is he doesn't care about my stinging flesh because his interest is the spirit the flesh can be stinging but the spirit can still hear the spirit can I put this thing the way I feel it give two people high five say unto your brother and your sister God is a spirit and they who worship him must worship him in the spirit and in the truth the interest of Jesus is in Lazarus is the spirit of Lazarus so whether the flesh is stinking I don't care because I can give you another flesh can I preach this thing the way I feel it I know you lost your business but he can give you another business you lost your marriage he can give you another marriage you lost your job he can give you another job you lost your relationship he can give you another relationship my question is do you know who he is praise the name of God I came in this service today to announce to somebody the God that you are serving is not like a man he is the Alpha and the Omega before you are formed in your mama's womb he knew you he knew today you will be in eternity city church he knew the year 2023 you will be in right he knew the month of August you will be in right I don't know what I'm talking to right now I hear Jesus saying where have you laid him? where did you lay your business where did your job go where did your money go I hear Jesus I say I hear Jesus he is asking where did they lay your marriage where did they lay your money and when Jesus saw the grave he said Lazarus Lazarus the one who was in the beginning the one who was the end from the beginning he is here men know you are stinking but I know you can come back to life men have put a full stop in your life but Jesus is saying that is the beginning point men have said it's over with your life but God is saying it's the beginning point where back at Lazarus Lazarus can I preach the way I feel it come forth and the Bible says and Lazarus came back to life and Jesus said unto the 
serpent and wind him. Praise the name of God. How can I come out and I am bound into the center? Nazareth, come out. Come forth. Come forth. Come forth. I may not be making longer strength, but I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. Every prayer you make, you are moving. Every praise you make, you are moving. Every worship you make, you are moving. Every fasting you make, you are moving. I don't know why I came to preach for, but someone in this place that your blessing was buried in the grave. I told it to come forth. I told your business to come forth. Give two people high five and hold on to them. It is coming back to life. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. I say it's coming back to life. 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 Your man is coming back to life. I call forth your miracle. I call forth your breakthrough. I call forth your restoration. You know why you don't receive in the house of God? You don't receive because your spirit cannot capture the flow of the anointing. But to the five people I'm preaching to, by the sounding of my voice, let your breakthrough come forth. Raise your voice and say, yeah. Someone say, it's coming forth. It's coming forth. It's coming forth. There is no way the devil can bury your breakthrough, bury your miracle in the grave. And the prophet is saying, let it come forth. And you are seated there. You are in the place of the breakthrough, the place of power. But your flesh cannot allow you. I say the devil is a liar. Every buried miracle, every buried breakthrough, praise the name of God. You know your problem, you are still trusting people to bless you. You are still trusting what people can put in your hands. But I came to preach to people who are telling me my breakthrough can come only from Jesus. Because even the people you are trusting to give you money, the people you are trusting to give you help, they were in a such a service. And when the man of God was preaching, their spirit connected to the spirit of the prophet. Because when your spirit connects with the spirit of the prophet, miracles begins to happen, healing begins to happen, deliverance begins to place, restoration begins to place. I prophesy right now. Anything that was buried in the grave, let it down so. You know, you know, my daughter, for some of us who still have people we can call and tell them our problems, we cannot understand such a sermon. The reason as to why you cannot understand as such a sermon, you know there is someone you will tell in the morning, we don't have sugar. Praise and I'm God. You know there is somebody who is going to pay your rent. You know there is somebody who is going to buy your food. But can I preach to somebody in this place who have nobody? Your life depends on you and you alone. You have no brother in America. You have no sister in Dubai. You have no grandmama in America who sends you money at the end of the month. Can I talk to people? When you scroll your phone, there is nobody you can tell. Can I have 500 shillings? Some of you cannot shout amen because there is a number in your phone. You know if I go through the problem, I will call this number. But can I talk to people? The only number you have in your phone is the number of Jesus. Can I pick this thing the way I feel it? Give your neighbor a high five. Tell your neighbor, wherever was buried in the grave, come forth.